Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosanda and today I'm going to be showing you guys what my payday routine is like. So this is the first video of the year and also I've not been uploading any videos for the past year or so. I've been planning to come back to YouTube um for the longest time but today i felt like is going to be that day and also i've just really been trying to figure out what do i really want to do with this channel do i stay with fashion do i lean more into finance and i have decided to lean more into finance because finance is really something i'm passionate about and something that i think would be more um purposeful and managing money making money investing money so that is pretty much going to be the direction of this channel hopefully um it will be something that whoever's watching this you guys um enjoy and yes so this payday routine is actually something that i'm trying to do previously i would just have a budget um however i am trying to be more responsible with my finances take control of my money and know exactly where my money is going and be intentional about my money so if anyone would want to join me on these sessions then you are more than welcome to do so it will be very lovely actually having a community where we would hold each other accountable um, in terms of our finances i have a budget planner here with me i'll show you guys on the screen i have this budget planner that i um designed and created so this budget planner um is something that i feel will not only help me in terms of budgeting my finances but also look into other areas also just help me to build my wealth as a whole and look at my finances as a whole not just budgeting in the future i aim to have done this at least like three to five days prior to me getting paid because i feel like i have enough time to plan and to really plan and think on the things that would be on my budget whether it's something i really need or something that i actually want um however this time around i'm doing this on the day i'm getting paid it's so fine i'm at home i haven't spent the money i didn't go out or anything like that and i'm even off but it's raining outside so i think they were insane to me anyway let's just get into the whole thing firstly i'm going to touch on a bit on like different budgeting systems but i'm not going to explain or what each entails because it will make this video awfully long and that's not my aim um so um i i use a combination of the cash envelope system and the zero based budget system i'm going to be using this budget planner um it's called my money makeover so this budget planner i designed myself and it has many pages um but i won't be going into the the page the other pages on the planner for the sake of time it doesn't only look at budgeting like my, what my budget is for the month but also looks at other aspects of my finances and my financial goals things like um investing savings retirement um medical aids and it, 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 it really is really i'd say a 360 degree turn i don't know what to even call it but like it looks into more than just a budgeting aspect for my finances so the monthly budget um tables my income what my income is so have um what i'll be allocating for savings and investing what my fixed expenses are so these are the expenses that do not change um, with the different months and what my vari variable expenses are those change monthly the then i have a summary and the notes so um as i write the this down i'm just going to 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 table everything down and just tally everything down so i'm obviously recording on um 
on the phone so i can't show you guys what i'm writing down okay guys i'm pretty much done with the monthly budget so i'm not going to be allocating any money towards investing for this month because i still have money in my easy equities app i invest um through the easy equities app by the way so um still have like money there that i haven't used up or haven't bought any etf share or whatever so i'm probably going to buy an etf though because I, I i i don't feel like doing share analysis at this moment in my life so i'm going to be saving i save with time bank because time bank has one of the best rates amongst the banks in south africa so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to take my phone and i'm going to transfer money from my bank account into my time bank savings um account so with time bank the thing i love that with time bank is you can have a different savings account within the app so if you want to save for a car there's a car there you can write car and you can um it even has its own icon and then you can start saving towards that there's um vacation there's other things right um within the app i also believe in saving with a goal or saving towards a goal i don't just want to save for the sake of saving i want to know why am i actually saving this money so that i know it is um i know what the reward is at the end of the day because that's encouraging that would encourage me to save more but if i have something vague i don't know what i'm saving for then it would be easy for me to not really continue with the saving habit what i'm going to 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 do with the money left in my account i'm going to withdraw some of it and allocate it into different envelopes using this budget binder so i use this binder to help me keep track guys i've been <laughs> i've not been in really like on uh, in track with my finances so that's why i decided to go back into this i i did do this last year but i stopped but i'm going back into it it really really helps if you are not good with um spending your spending habits i highly recommend you use the cash envelope system it doesn't have to be a budget binder it can be like literally envelopes because that's what i used before i used envelopes like this before but i decided to get this because it's cute i love it and everything is consolidated in one book so um on the first first page there's a, a budget sheet so whatever amounts you're transferring here i would write on the the, the, the first page and the amounts and the dates for tracking purposes so i still have some money left here the only it's only 50 rand that i have that is left here so this was supposed to be elect for electricity um i still have electricity and this is what is left of this so what i'm going to do with the money that is left from the the previous month or whatever is i'm going to put it here I'm going to put it here in this in this piggy bank of mine or money box rather i'm going to put it in this money box and at the end of the year oh, at the end of the year i'm going to open this money box i can't wait so this money box i also just keep i throw in change also in here and then i'll see towards the end of the year that what i'm going to get so yeah guys i can't um um do the 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 cash budgeting video right now but i'm just going to show you guys once um i'm just going to maybe insert it while i'm doing the 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 cash um the budgeting so that's tomorrow because it's raining there is no way i'm going out in this rain then after i've allocated the different oh yeah just to let you guys know the 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 envelopes the different envelopes they have different categories 
food electricity um transport miscellaneous entertainment hair self-care whatever whatever okay um so tomorrow that's when i'm going to um put the money in the envelopes okay i um I, I try not to withdraw a lot of money or like unnecessary money and because of um charges safety and things like that but this is pretty much useful for other things so um once i have um put money in here once i have put money in here and i've paid all my debts for the month and everything that needed to be debited has been debited for my account then my aim is to be left with zero so the, that is why i'm saying i use a combination of the cash envelope system and the zero base budget so i allocate different categories to my budget and the aim is to have zero in my account because I don't want to feel like, mm, okay, I have an extra what so what what so I can buy this shoe. And I know myself, guys, I'm trying to really um, take control of my finance. So, yeah, that is pretty much it for the video. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else worth mentioning here. Oh, let me uh, also also on this um, budget planner that I designed, I did do also a fun savings challenge, guys. I believe in saving for fun. Okay, uh, we need to be happy. We need to live life our life to the fullest and feel rewarded for our hard work. Um, so I have this fun savings challenge. I hope this video wasn't as bad, considering the fact that I've not um been uploading every anything or recording anything for that matter for the past year plus and i hope um it also will encourage you guys to budget and be in more control of your finances i will also have other videos on the channel um money related and yeah that's it for today thank you for tuning in thank you for watching please like the video comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye